Hello, welcome back to Blackjack. Um, as always, I'm Blackjack Abiani, and we're here for the Nintendo Direct. 3 p.m. is kind of a good time for me, but it wouldn't be tomorrow because tomorrow I work, so. <laughs> it's kind of an odd time because this is when kids are getting off school in my time zone, but. You know, 6 p.m. is better. It's like 8 a.m. in Australia time. I don't know which time zone. But... Okay, so what I'm hoping for, release date for Banjo and Kazooie. October sounds good because then they could also go December for if they announce someone today. And then they could do February for whoever they announce later on, which is when they said they would wrap up the DLC. Um, Bayonetta 3 update, even if we don't get any footage. Uh... We're told, yeah, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, I'm assuming we're getting the Starter Evolutions. I am hope we're getting a new Smash character that wasn't leaked. People ruin things with leaks. They ruin the Ryu reveal. If you look, go back and look at the reaction videos to that, they're like, oh yeah, so this is going to be Ryu. Let's just see how he looks. I mean, yeah, I know Simon was spoiled with a uh, by Nintendo themselves because they uploaded the wrong music track the day before. But, you know, don't go leaking everything. Come on. And if you do, at least have the courtesy to put it under a cut or something. All right? Because I've seen who people um, are expecting. They're saying it's going to be someone from SNK. And there's another rumor about a girl with a mech that's going to be disappointing and confusing. Uh, okay, I want a... Uh, NES and SNES Final Fantasy Collection for the Switch. Um, I want some news about New Horizons. Maybe, I don't know, tell us new characters or show us old ones in new roles or whatever. Because I know they said that uh, uh, Rossetti is going to have a new role. Because uh, his poor little heart just couldn't take all the... Oh. It went dark on my screen. Why isn't it... Playing. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, so I guess I'm a few seconds behind everyone else. Okay, so Metroid Prime 4 update. Just tell us about how it's going. Overwatch finally confirmed. We know it's coming to the Switch. Oh, yeah. Well, right here. Overwatch finally confirmed. We knew it was coming to the Switch. Um previously Japanese only game um, Dark Souls 2 and 3 or Bloodborne you know they gave us the first one why not uh, Witcher 1 and 2 why give us the third one if you're not going to give us the first two uh, some new amiibos with some dates to them uh, some new me based game I'm hoping for Tomodachi Life 2 uh, Hyrule Warriors 2 would be really fun <laughs> or just an expansion pack where you can play as the freaking champions. Come on! And I don't know if something was Paris. It looks to me so cool. Yay! Ports don't really count as, like, spoilers to me. It's kind of like, oh, that's cool. Hello, everyone. I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Hello. Takahashi. I love the name Shinya. That's really cool. <laughs> and that was, of course, the latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. Sounds good. The game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th, oh. so please look forward to it. That sounds okay, nice. Let's get into our first oh, you know what? I finally ha uh, can please stop asking about Untitled Goose Game. That's going to be in our face in less than a month! You gotta see these floors of the hotel for yourself. Although I think I'm gonna get it on Luigi's Epic so I can make it takes place in a haunted hotel, where every floor has a distinct theme unlike any other. Case in point, Tomb Suites. I mean, a pyramid inside a hotel? At least have it on the grounds outside. Mummies, harsh sands, and booby traps. Of course. As for the other floors, well, there's a disco floor. A <laughs> Luigi getting down with his bad cell. You get the idea. May not be the usual amenities, but there's a rogues gallery of bosses to check out before you, well, check out. <laughs> Speaking of amenities, 
Step right up to this all new attraction, Screen Park. Nice, In nice. In party mode, there's a Luigi team and a Gooigi team. With only one Nintendo Switch system, two to eight players can battle it out. Wow. See which team can defeat the most ghosts. Collect the most coins by piloting floaties with the Poltergust G00 and break the most targets. Hey, what are those floaties dragon shapes? Luigi's Mansion 3 opens its doors on October 31st. Of Just course! For Halloween. Oh! Free to, free to start, Free to start, though, come on. Combined forces of Kirby, 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 and Kirby are in for some wicked boss fights. We're calling it Super Kirby Clash. Because of course. Town. And collectively, you and your team will pick four jobs. That's right. Get your weapons, get your gear. And get ready. Some mighty tough enemies await. Sounds good. There are more than 100 <laughs> quests. Floating. So, get a look at your enemies. Dude, that's the floating sure the right easy. jobs for the job. The key to victory is to know your role and work as a team. Know Let your role. Alone. Together on one system, team up via local wireless, or even play online. I still don't have internet. Really Stop with the internet from around the world and overcome each challenging quest when Super Kirby Clash launches later today. I know remember, Kelly's gonna be very to excited too. about that netbug. This long-awaited, recently released RPG is getting a remake. After 25 years, fans of the Mana series can look forward to the HD remake of the third game in the trilogy, oh, Trials of Mana. Yeah, yeah, that's what we knew about. From six different characters, you'll choose a protagonist and two companions. The ones you choose will determine which of the interwoven stories you'll follow through this reimagined world. Now Interesting. you remember what will happen to dear Jessica if I die. This interference will not be forgotten. As each character advances, All right. they'll have the opportunity to switch their class, allowing them to learn stronger special moves and spells. Cool, cool. Step into the light. Or show your dark side when picking your class to change your character's appearance and abilities. Cool. Unlike the classic version, characters have full range of movement, including jumping and combo attacks for each member of your party. So I'm assuming it was turn based. Once again, the wheels of fate are beginning to turn. Show the tree! Find out what's in store for the beloved world of Trials of Mana on April 24th. Did they seriously go that whole time without showing us the tree? Oh! This doomed ship. The Oberdin vanished at sea in 1803. Now that was zero punctuation. Game of And Falmouth, England, with no sign of survivors. The fate of the crew remains unknown. Such star play a little of it. As an insurance investigator for the East India Company, you must board the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance and return. Your analysis will rely heavily on one less than ordinary device. Use the power of the Momentum Mortem Pocket Watch to turn back time and witness each soul's last moment. You oh, they're cursing in their directs! Explore the ship. Observe the situation. And record your logical deductions. Without you, the true tale will never be told. What brought the Oberdin to such an end? Little by little, tease apart the misfortunes of the ship and its crew to solve the mystery. Return of the Oberdin arrives on Nintendo Switch in fall 2019. I'm gonna guess mid-November. There's a small town oh, out there with a town. big secret. Is that where we're getting? Yes, this is town. Oh, little town Never hero. Leave town. That is the rule agreed upon by the people of this peaceful town and the castle protecting it. The castle's been shoved day, in a corner. There suddenly appeared a giant monster. Hi, giant to monster. defend the townspeople, one boy named Axe will stand up to face it. And the only weapons he'll need are ideas. That sounds good. But to win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything if there's any hope to win. Yeah, so, you know, battle, gotta know when to walk away. To garner support from no when to run. Take you never count for money sitting the around the table. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG. <laughs> I'm liking that weapon there. And almost all the music <laughs> in the game was composed Yarn. by Undertale creator. So, but, thanks. <laughs> 
Little Town Hero will make a stand on Nintendo Switch October 16th. Oh, that's interesting. They went to preload the game later Japanese today. Stuff. God, there's been so much hate for that game. Ball oh, there we go. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. October. We can finally confirm the release date of Challenger Pack 3, Banjo and Kazooie. Yay. Banjo and Kazooie. Yeah. And the release date is today. After today's Nintendo Direct, we'll broadcast a video detailing how to use Banjo and Kazooie, I'll featuring have to the game's that. director, Masahiro Sakurai. As a special treat, the video will begin immediately following the Nintendo Direct you're watching right now. To tide yourself over until the release of Banjo and Kazooie, please check it out. <laughs> but first. Okay, it's going to be some hugely retro character. Oh, it's Terry. It's Terry. Okay, it's an SNK character. Yep. This is why people shouldn't leak. All of these people trying to grab for the envelope keep getting away from them. Geese Howard. Oh god, what if it's him? Nope, he falls. Iconically. I heard people saying it could be Nakaruru. Oh, come back, Eagle. Iori. Nah, not Yuri. Just show us Terry already. We already know it's him. This is a really cool trailer, though, I gotta say. Terry faces the fury! <laughs> That was a really cool trailer. I just wish it hadn't been spoiled! This is why leaks are horrible, guys! So someone is telling me, then just don't read them. Like, we don't read them. We're not gonna know that there's a spoiler there! So, Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury is joining the battle. That means we've revealed four of the five fighters included in the Fighters Pass. Can there really be only one left? More? Are there more? Are there more? We're happy to confirm <laughs> the DLC fighters for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Outside the five fighters included in the Fighters Pass, we can confirm that other new fighters are in development. The battle isn't over yet. <laughs> So, what do you think? Regarding what was announced about additional fighters at the end of that segment, we'll have more to share with you in the future. For now, let's continue with some more Nintendo Switch headlines. <laughs> it's about time to wake the Windfish in The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, which means the next big adventure on Nintendo Switch is fast approaching. You'll need some strangely endearing <laughs> face a series of puzzling tasks and encounter some oddly familiar faces whatever happens oh god they're actually acknowledging the that that thing is basically mysteries get the best of him <laughs> with the all new chamber dungeon you can place chambers earned on your adventure to arrange your own more dungeons. fires add in plus effects that alter chambers more and fires. Save chamber dungeons to a compatible amiibo figure featuring a character from the legend of zelda series are they gonna re-release the old ones then please be ready. The Legend of Zelda Wee Link's Wee Awakening Wee they were so hard to get. September 20th. The new Link amiibo figure will be available that same day. I only have one Zelda series amiibo. 
You know the hero's might from oh, Super hey, Smash Bros. Ultimate. The, now join his adventure. Thing. Dragon Quest XI S, Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition, is exactly that. The most complete version of the sprawling adventure story that allows you to choose Ganondorf, between though. HD and 2D graphics. Travel to past Dragon Quest worlds. And experience character-focused stories. Look. The day the game launches, free downloadable content can be found in the Champions Pack, <laughs> including consumable items and more equipment that can change the appearance of party members. An RPG giant draws near. Boom. Dragon Quest XI S, Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition, journeys onto Nintendo Switch September 27th. I hear it has, like, the world's best demo. It's something like 10 Until hours. Then, you can prepare for your adventure with I have it loaded, but I haven't Nintendo played it yet. Eastern. I'm actually planning on playing that with my mom. <laughs> Looking for more Fire Emblem Oh, is this, uh, say hello to Tokyo. Something miracle session, the Mirage set. Series and Atlas games have crossed paths, and the result is coming to Nintendo Switch. Okay, um, the story takes place in modern day Tokyo, where creative energy is so abundant it's materialized into something called Performa, which attracts Performa? wicked mirages who suck it out of people. You'll face off against this threat that was up and really top heavy there. and his Front friends who are trying to make it in the entertainment business. <laughs> Fire Emblem characters like Prom and Sita will join you from another dimension. Together, you'll That's pronounced Sita, not Kata. Blending the combat of the Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei series. And, in the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Does it use sure the, the emotes? From the new story elements Joy -Cons the now. joining you in battle for the first time. Hey, is that Tiki? Tokyo Mirage. I asked Tiki, the girl in Smash who always looks 17th. like Terra. You can pre-purchase the game later today. Welcome back to where nothing is what it seems. Hmm? Boston, 2019. Ah, a and blessing in disguise. Again. When FBI agent Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation into an old serial killer case, she also opens. God, a door she's old enough to have been named after the singer too. Door that also takes us back to New Orleans, 14 years ago. Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. The journey between I guess if she is... will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. I was gonna say I thought she was the little girl, but what I guess lies not. At the end? Will it be truth or madness? Deadly Premonition 2, A Blessing in Disguise, boggles and big That's cool. I really don't know much about and the first one. Shocker. The original game in the series will launch a Nintendo eShop at Deadly Premonition Origins later today. Okay. So you're not just going to call it Deadly Premonition. No, you got to give it a new name. Divinity, Original Sin 2, Definitive Edition is finally okay. coming to Nintendo I love how the Switch is just full of Check Definitive Editions. Vines use. Who do you want to be today? Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be today? Do you want to be just like someone on TV? Just like somebody on TV! <laughs> Saving. That's nice, chicken form. Spirits on this garden is the ghosts of every plant I forgot to water. There's that one, uh, Kid Icarus, uh, cartoon where Palatena is chased by all the vegetables. And now for a message from Bethesda. Ooh. Another hey, doom. Fans. Pete Hines from Bethesda. Well, we already On behalf of everyone at id Software, I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. Is it a Doom I'm collection? Sure many of you have fond memories of spending countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Well, this year Ooh. is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular first-person shooter franchises ever. And to celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games 
June 64. Yeah! For the first time since Earth its original Enter. release in 1997, Doom 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. Relive your crusade against the demons in more than 30 action-packed levels. Or if you're a newcomer, yeah, you know this is basically the, the original John Wick. He's ripping and tearing his way through hell itself because they killed his pet rabbit. <laughs> Doom 64 will release on Nintendo Frankly, Switch. I mean, if anything happens, like that, I would this do very much the same. The budgies. Yeah. <laughs> Introducing a brand new IP from developer High Res Studios, Rogue Company. To most Rogue of the world, Company. Rogue Company is a rumor at best, but its operatives are the real deal. And as one of these elite specialists, you'll face challenges which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled. So I'm assuming that woman who went out first is the commander. Is yeah, her. So she's dressing according guns, to the rule of cool. Or melee weapons, your playstyle will depend on your choice of mercenary, which can be fully customized. Okay, so it's another hero shooter. Maps, weapons, skins, in-game events, and more. When Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Switch in 2020. Okay. You're gonna have to tell me how How's that differentiates from anything Next, else. The new titles in the core Pokemon RPG series. Yes, yes, Pokemon yes, yes, yes. Give me Pokemon Shield. Give me some we have more evolutions here. Share that will shed new light on this next Pokemon adventure. Please take a look. Alright, it's, it's summer, my skin is sensitive. Pokemon Shield takes place <laughs> in the Gala region, a scenic land where people and Pokemon work together toward a prosperous future. Among them, you'll encounter new Pokemon and meet new people throughout your adventure. Today, we'll cover four features you can look forward to. Alright. First, customizing your look. Yeah, that we already Once knew about again, that. The latest entry in the series lets you pick your outfit. This time, it's not just tops and bottoms, but a wide variety, including outerwear and gloves. All right. Well, we can do hats and shoes and everything like that beforehand. Plus, you can change your hair. Finally, we get to see them. Or put on a little makeup. There's a lot more to becoming a champion. Can the guys wear makeup? your battle skills. You've got to look the part too, don't you think? Do the guys have expansive? Because I've Second, heard that the Pokemon the, like, Camp guys during your journey uh, options the are really region, limited. You can camp anytime. Can camp. Pokemon Camp. Oh. While you're there, you can play with your Pokemon. That's my Pokemon. And as you get to know them better, they'll also improve in battle. This time, Haley's there. Is Haley there? I love Haley. The wild area. You can visit other players' camps too. Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon and hang out with up to three other it players. It is my game. Pokemon Ranch, including we visiting others. recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. You couldn't bring your Pokemon. Third, curry on rice. Pokemon Camp is also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Curry on rice. How Not like chicken masala or anything like that. Ultimately depends on which berries and other ingredients you use. Fish and Not chips. Not to mention the heart you put into it. Why curry? That's not curry really types. British. I mean, you can it's definitely you get it there, but registered in your curry decks. It does say masala. To master the art of curry, huh? What's that Pokemon doing here? And fourth. We'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the Gala region. Poltygeist? Is Poltygeist. Okay, that's Normally, Dragon Quest levels of fun. by hiding amongst tableware at hotels and restaurants. Its body is made of tea. Okay, I'm naming mine Mrs. Pot. Flavor. It may even allow a trusting trainer to taste its tea. This ghost type Pokemon Okay, that's kind of gross. But it's like shuffle juice. Do not drink the shuffle juice. Next, another new Pokemon called Cramorant. This flying and water type Pokemon has won a huge appetite. I know it's like really awkward and dumb with it. In its mouth. When it uses surf or dive during battle, watch as it rises from the water, along with the catch in its mouth. If it takes damage in this state, Is that a new fish type? By spitting out its catch at the attacker. This is Cramorant's exclusive new ability Gulp Missile. That's hilarious. 
And that's all we have Netbug to just texted me, are you watching the direct? Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield will launch on Nintendo Switch November 15th. Well, how about that? There are still two more months until the game releases. Are you watching the direct? I said I very much am. You can start your new adventure in the Galar region. So, it's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo Switch online memberships. With Nintendo yeah, and you're online, online apparently. We're providing sucks. a variety of games and fun features. And now, we're looking to add in an additional library of games. It's called Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online. With this, you can play a variety of classic Super NES games. Of course, Yoshi's Island, Island, yes, I love Yoshi's Island. I've never played f Zero. Link to the Past, I have that on the Wii. There are some you may not expect. Like Stunt Race FX, which will be available to play on another system for the first time. Mm -hmm. You can face what off with team up in local multiplayer by passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend. Or even play I haven't together been online. on anything either. Oh, and the rewind function will be available uh, from launch. Ghosts and goblins, nice. Here are the first games we plan to release. Okay. All 20 of the games okay. you see on screen will launch tomorrow. Breath of Fire, that's pretty cool. Of course, we will eventually add more to the lineup. This offer is exclusively available to Nintendo Switch Online members, so please enjoy them at no additional charge. Oh, you noticed this, did you? To recapture the original feel of these games, I still have all my old releasing systems. a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online exclusive controller as a special offer. To charge it, you can use a USB cable, just like the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. This Super NES style controller will be available hey, actually, for that's not exclusively bad. for Nintendo Switch Online members. Visit the Nintendo website for the latest information on its release. Wouldn't it be nice to play those games again with one of these controllers? Yes. Well, let's move on to some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Sure, you know Tetris, but can you survive this? Nintendo Switch Online members, the large-scale puzzle I bet, uh, JJ from your video games can. <laughs> Tetris 99 Invictus is here, and not for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Invictus. status. Can you survive against the best of the best? Well, good luck. No. I We're couldn't. also adding in daily missions for some added challenges. By clearing these missions, you can acquire tickets and exchange them for Who's a variety the of custom tech games. mogul that Sweet. Uh, used to be a Tetris champion? Is that Steve Wozniak? We're tossing in a vast array of new player icons, too. Like he picked it up that, because he could play the, the Game Boy on KPLC flight. Is here as well. in two it's one of those big names. To a for and I'm pretty sure it was Waz. And, and, and he to got so good he would like to submit tips to magazines and stuff. In local arena mode. The version 2.0 update for Tetris 99 will be available tomorrow. A packaged version including the game, DLC, and a Nintendo Switch Online 12-month individual membership will be available September 6th. Interesting. Have you guys ever seen Invisible Tetris? Go, look that up. Look that up. It is hilarious. has become a tradition of It's like the ultimate grandmaster. More than 20 events, including the 100 meter, karate, football, skateboarding, rugby sevens, sport climbing, badminton, gymnastics, surfing, and you know what? There's more where that came from. Is ping pong really an Olympic sport? Check out these 10 retro style events. <laughs> Each one rocking some sweet 2D style graphics. They're all new, all retro, Skeet and shooting, very refreshing to play. <laughs> said, Come on, on at least tuck into your shell. Mini games, unlockable characters, and a story mode in which Mario, Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. Oh, that's cool. Mario and Sonic swim, at the Olympic swim. Games Tokyo 2020 will go for the gold. I've actually had some discussions online with um, the guy that plays Eggman right now. The next Damon X about demo will be here uh, voice acting in, in general. Uh, Ahead of the full game's release next that's pretty week, interesting. the free demo version, Damon X Machina Prologue Demo will be available for download later today. In this prologue, 
you'll man your mech through the beginning of the game. And all of your progress can carry oh, over cool. to the full game. Why an S and F in that? played a mech action game and you're wondering what they're all about. This is the perfect time. <laughs> Do you ever see a Pokemon so beautiful you a key cry. feature of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players. And we're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. So, gather your friends and make the bosses feel like the little guys. The full game will also support online play. Be ready by customizing your mech and honing your just skills on missions. So boring. What hides beneath your mech's armor? A god or a demon? Okay. Demon X Machina will be ready for action. Demon in the machine, yeah. Maybe if they tell us something about the freaking storyline. Star Wars classic so fun, it's back for more. Okay. Kyle Katarn, agent of the New Republic, is our only hope to stop a rogue hmm. Jedi. Get your lightsaber at the ready. Blaster and a blaster. And prepare to wield the full power Looks like. of the force. The full the power, fire, huh? The full single player experience of Star Wars. Well, the full power of the Force would be Jedi the universe Outcast itself. Switch, September It'd be very, the very fabric of creation, right? We've got new details on some upcoming games. Here's where my journey begins. You are Geralt of Rivia, mercenary monster slayer. Your current contract? Tracking well, that, that down still looks nice. Known as the child of I mean, I know it's a downgrade in graphics, You'll but it still looks really good. Explore, at home and on the go. When the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition comes to Nintendo Switch on October 15th. And all downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. Whoa. Become the most feared pirate in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Then transform into I've heard that's the best one. In Assassin's Creed Rogue. That's two action packed games for one great value. With all past DLC and new features like touch control and motion aiming coming exclusively to Nintendo Switch and Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection. I wonder if it's going to have all the glitches, so. though. The edge of a savage frontier in the online free to play action RPG Dauntless. Whether you're a veteran looking to take your Slayer on the go, or you ready to forge your legacy, you'll hone your skills, craft and customize hundreds Aether of your options, and team up with other Slayers to take down boss size behemoths. So was I an Aether Striker in Pokemon Sun and Moon? Slabs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch. And there's plenty more on the horizon. Open your calendar. More games are on the way. Uh huh. You know, Cooney. Hey, they mentioned it. So hey, something with parrots. An escapist. He's adorable. Hey, was one of those just dance figures Gaston? Okay, those are some nice graphics there. They do look a little last gen, but very good last gen. I watched a playthrough of this, it was actually on your video games, and I uh, thought it was pretty cool. Is anyone gonna release NBA Jam? Oh, it's Alright. Which one? You made like a bunch of <laughs> Better than nature. Spacer's choice. That's cool. Don't worry. Said. said anything like don't panic how's everything going next up animal crossing new horizons we revealed many details about the game back in june so we prepared a video covering what was announced let's yay. see shall we yay okay so this isn't gonna be new stuff it sounds like oh hey the campfire can go out. So I'm assuming you just light it. Yes. Yes, I have. Oh! Yay! I eagerly look forward to it. Yes! Thank you for Doll. choosing the deserted island getaway package. A laid back, Dodo? relaxing time Are you gonna have a Dodo of nature awaits. For you and the other folks participating in the getaway package, the time's come to get into the groove of deserted island life. 
It may be a deserted island, but the Rosewood Services so Building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. Uh-huh. For Except starters, we provide you with a tent. Please select the spot where you'd like it set up. You can set it on the beach! Oh, and there's something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. <laughs> it comes pre-installed with a variety of apps. Nick's, break all Nick's breaking into the tech industry. Needs, including recipes for crafting tools and furniture. What's not really recipes, Let's start though, is by it? crafting an axe. Although it looks like you're going can to need some materials. Like branches. Ducking around for. There's one on the ground all, the, all already. Then we'll head to resident services and use the workbench. Bang, 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 bang. Nicely done. <laughs> da -da -da. You can da -da. use the tools you craft to acquire new materials, like this. And with those, you can craft more items. All right. Feel free to place furniture inside or outside. Yay! You can fine-tune the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style. Yes, the and you can fully are enjoy wandering around. the deserted island life. Let's head back to resident services. Here we sell tools and furniture. We also I buy the unwanted items, including any weeds you remove, as part Is this of our Is this an image to be in addition to the usual in-game currency bells, you can also earn Nook Miles through the Nook Mileage program. You can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. There are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island. It's not really fishing, deserted though, is it? Catch some bugs. Tend to flowers. Pick them to make a garland. Thanks to crafting, even weeds have their uses. A vaulting pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. A nutritious snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. Plant it somewhere else to change things up in that corner of the island. That's so cool. Hi, Butch! Which was the one of my starters in the with the time and weather. There will be sunshine, cloudy days. You get rainfall, a house. I've only seen and enough wind to shake the trees. Mm. Does it shake the fruit off? Depending yeah, on the house time of day, day and the season, you'll encounter different creatures to catch too. Are we going to see some new villagers? But for smelt it, delta, so the puns are back. Live together on the same island can play simultaneously, up to four players at a time on one system. We hope you enjoy living together and working together in the same space. With a local wireless or internet connection, you can travel to another player's island for a total of eight players in one visit. The whole scene you gotta have pinky in number one here, right? <laughs> Why not snap a photo with everyone and make it a lasting memory? It's so beautiful. How's deserted island life looking? What we've shown you here today is truly just the beginning. There's so much more waiting to be discovered. So many Giant activities, mushrooms. animals to encounter, and please more give me Melba. To you from the island. We can't wait for you to experience the Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. Can we swim? <laughs> so, how'd it look? There's still a bit more time until the game launches, so please stay tuned. Alright, the next game will be our last announcement of the day. Yeah, I was gonna Please say, give it a look. uh, 337. Okay, Xenogear, or Xenoblade Chronicles. Xenoblade, yeah, not Xenogears, that's completely different.
star planes. Hi, Dragonfly! Oh, hey, Shulk. Oh, is it just coming out for the Switch, or is this a new game? Do you wish to change it? Huh? The future. Huh? <laughs> a definitive edition, yep. I will have to pick that up. I've heard the Xenoblade Chronicles games are full of stuff to do. That sounds nice. Monolith Soft's Xenoblade Chronicles, which originally released in 2012 on the Wii system, is destined to be reborn on Nintendo Switch as Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. The game is planned for release in 2020. Please look forward to more announcements in the future. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. All right. Um, I can just watch that afterwards and bring it up. Um, bring it up myself. You know, it took me forever to figure out that raring to go was a pun on rare. Okay, so this is not really going to be much spoilers. Um, okay, so we got release date for Banjo and Kazooie. Um, we got New Horizons update. We got Overwatch confirmed. Um, did we get previously Japanese only game? Um, we got some amiibos with dates. And because they showed Nino Kuni, we got something with parrots. I tell you, every time I put that in, I get something with parrots. <laughs> and one time, the, the uh, Smash update, when it was shown the stage builder, there was a parrot in that! There was a gray parrot on the stage! Oh, man. I got teary-eyed over furniture. I think that's the sign you're truly an adult, right? I mean, it took it long enough. I'm 39. <laughs> Leave a comment if you knew how old I was, or if you could figure it out, or if you're shocked, or whatever. <laughs> okay. Um, I think the best news was that the um, there's going to be a second collection of fighters, so we don't have to worry about who's getting that last slot. Are going to get uh, they did say from series that aren't already represented. Golly, I have such a dry skin today. This is Kukui Nut Oil, and yes, the jokes have been made. I've seen them. Uh, okay, well, it was pretty cool. Um, I like that they're releasing Black Flag. That's supposed to be the best Assassin's Creed game, but... Now they have, like, what? It's three and that one? They're not doing the first... Was it two or three? Because I know they haven't released one. Mm. I this works. Uh, they haven't shown us any new villagers for New Horizons. Um, Prince of Melba? What is the best? Okay. Um... Still nothing on Metroid Prime 4 other than we had to start over. I thought they'd just give us, you know, it's like, um, oh, we're ripping along. We're going to have that. Uh, we're going to have information for you, hopefully, by the end of the year. Same thing with uh, Bayonetta 3. All we know is it exists. Um, I mean, having the SNES games on there is a, a start towards getting the Final Fantasy games in there. And Chrono Trigger, that's going to be cool. Especially if they do with the um, FMVs and stuff. And you know what they could do? Is they could totally throw in the short cartoon that, that uh, was based in the same world where the monsters have their own festival. Uh... We didn't get starter evolutions, but we got some new Pokemon that are very cute. 
<laughs> I'm loving that cormorant. That's so cute. And I want to know if that fish thing is its own Pokemon. I mean, that might be a Galar form of wishy-washy. It has the same kind of shape. You know, it's a freaking sardine, so you never know. I don't know where sardines are based. Uh, I don't know where they live. Yeah, so um, most exciting news for me was the New Horizons update and expansion pass. But, um, guys, serious talk, okay? Terry would have been much more hype for me. That, that was an excellent trailer, though, I gotta say. But he would have been much more hype for me if people hadn't been spoiling it left and right. Okay, and it's, you know, like I said, someone was telling me, then don't read it. How am I going to know if it's a spoiler or not unless I read it? Yeah? You know, here I am. I'm scrolling through Twitter, and I'm just seeing Terry, 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 Terry everywhere. Okay? I'm scrolling through it as fast as I can, and people are still posting pictures and everything. It's like, you know, have a little compassion for people who don't want leaks. Okay? It takes away... All the excitement. <sighs> but yeah, I mean, I'm still excited for him. But I really wish I had just found out here and not in the freaking days before. That was interesting in the Obra Din preview, they actually allowed them to say bastard, because usually they don't have cursing on these things. Usually, despite the rating of the game, these are generally very G-rated. I also noticed in the Olympic Games one, they referred to... Uh... Yeah, that's pretty interesting. I wonder if that's going to be it in uh, all the English regions, um, including the U.S. and Australia, which do use the word soccer. You see, it's not just the U.S. It's also not just the U.S. that uh, uses uh, imperial rather than metric. <laughs> uh, fuck yeah. Brits can lecture us about um, he's still using imperial um, once they start driving on the correct side of the road. <laughs> Most of the world drives on the side of the road that Americans do. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, <laughs> we're parents, yes. I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't remind us about Untitled Goose Game, though. But, you know, we did get its own preview a few days ago. So... You know, why not? I'm gonna have goose. I'm gonna have goose in my hands. Uh, problem is though, like I said though, I do want to do um, videos of it, but coming over to my parents' house that weekend will be uh, difficult because when it comes out on a Friday, I could easily come over that day, but um, not only are they going to have my aunt and uncle in town, that's also when the Hillsborough Air Show is. And even though we're probably a good five miles from the actual airfield, um, we still get, like, jet planes zooming over the house. So, yeah, anyway, I think I've talked enough. Um, a lot of you are probably going, and, and... Or, we're here for a theater. Why won't you show us? <laughs> uh, actually. Here she is. The real star of this channel, all right? Step up. Yeah, the lighting's not really good for her either. It doesn't really show off her magnificent beauty, does it? Hi. Yeah, back here is nice. 
she blends into the, or rather, she stands out from the shadows a lot better than I do with my shiny skin. <laughs> it's actually not oily or anything, and I think that's part of the problem. I think that's why I'm getting so freaking dried out. I've had this fan on me the whole time, too. Uh, like? Like? Uh... When you have birds, by the way, and you have fans, you really have to make sure that they cannot reach through. You've got to be even more vigilant than you are with, like, small children. Because small children, their fingers only get so small, you know? Okay. Feathers. That didn't even come off you right now. Like, there's a, there's a feather stuck to the tape dispenser. How do you manage to do that? You weren't even in here when that happened. Okay, so I've talked for too long. I just wanted to show Athena off. Um, I'm going to watch the Banjo-Kazooie video later. Um, today's been a nice day. Especially with the review. With